All right, now we're recording. Uh, it's interesting. I did a big 30 minute long video a, a while ago. I'm really happy with the techniques. I wasn't happy with the results. Uh, I think a lot of it was due to, oh, you should have heard the audio. Maybe I'll post it up later, but it's it's pretty bad. Um, yeah, a lot of the audio was garbled later on. The video uh, resolution looked absolutely horrible. I could barely uh, see anything. I'm not saying you can see a lot now. Um, anyways, this, I mean, now, and I, there was another thing I couldn't understand what the heck was going on because I, I wasn't getting the same uh, length of can and then it clued in afterwards. It took me a long time to figure this out, for Christ's sakes. Um, couldn't understand why I was not getting the same. Um, view like uh expanse of a view um through StreamYard, which you're seeing right now um versus the camera app and then it dawned on me afterwards i was like uh of course because uh the stream yard account that i have will only allow me to stream at 720p and the camera app through windows is is seeing the webcam up there, uh, which it is, it's a 1080p camera. So it's allowing it to do 1080p. So I was getting a much wider view. Because when I went to go do the StreamYard thing, I had to bring the camera way far, way more up uh, towards the ceiling to try to get this type of view where I just, just want to get the map uh, 6.4 over here. Uh, over here. So freaky weird because, oh, there, I'm, I'm picking, going over to 4.5 in here. Um, so over here, yeah, and I, let, that's what I wanted. But uh, at the 720p uh, uh, scale, I had to go far, far up, which was unfortunate. And anyways, the video just looked horrible. But like I said, the technique was fantastic. And I think you may see it. Hopefully, I'm well, going to watch this later. And I'm also reminded now of I was uh, talking with a fellow um gamer youtube person on the weekend and uh uh they were talking about their channel and what they're doing uh, video audio wise and saying they're making incremental um adjustments rather than doing what i usually do which is like a to z and it's like and then of course um it's difficult to track you know what was going right and what was going wrong anyways this video here is a seven day free trial of StreamYard's 1080p thing, uh, of course, they're, you know, like a freaking drug pusher, for God's sakes. They give you just a little bit and hope that you get hooked. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, to be honest with you, I just want to see the difference. So I'll kind of quickly tell you what uh, happened in the, in the whatever. There was a combat. Uh, it didn't go well for the Russians. Uh, they did. They did try the doubler. I'll try. I'll show you the different screens uh, and, and whatnot that uh, I had going. The other two cameras that you're going to see are 720p. However, I do. I did find out now that I went and purchased a very, very good uh, USB 3.0 um, extender. It doesn't have a signal boot. Uh, it has a signal booster, but it's not powered. But the connectors are very solid compared to the other ones I had, and. Uh, I was finding them there was an intermittent connection and of course with the digital it's like it's there, therefore it's either on or it's off and that's what i think was having i was having an issue with the camcorder sometimes with StreamYard. anyways i don't think i'll have that issue anymore which means one of the cameras you're about to see i could have that as my 1080p camera uh a secondary 1080p camera and the camcorders has got incredible zoom ability anyways i'm going to show you some of the little bits like i said this is gonna it's uh, i guess a, a little bit of the playthrough i would like to use I'm not, i don't think i'll be using this technique throughout playing uh the mini game you never know i doubt it though it just takes too much time you'll see why because i've also added some banners for information and whatnot um no oh, here i'll pop one out now um so there you go so it that's what was going to occur and i'll show you the uh where it is um see so there you are in the split screen and it would be right around, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but you're right. Yeah, I don't know what you can see. Anyways, here, we'll go on to the full on. So there, that's that's the kind of thing. So then I could, after show the grand strategy bit, say, okay, this is where the close up is. And I think with the mouse, I'm able to show you here. So yeah, um, 
So this is where where the combat had taken place. Uh, what what had occurred is um, I'll, I'll talk about it. So the fifth and the ninth armies uh, headquartered are up here in Lublin, and um, he, uh, Plebe, the um, the general for the um, here. I'll see if I can put in this tiny little the picture on picture thing. There we go. Or I think that should work. Yeah. So that you can perhaps see the thing and I'll hide the, does that make it a little, there we go. Yeah, I think that's much, much better. Um, like I said, I'm trying to learn here. Um, and then I, yet again, we could do the halvesies if, uh, no, I don't like that one. That one's not too bad, I guess. But I think I prefer the picture in picture. Um, so anyways, his original orders was to link up with um, uh, uh Ruski over here at the Third Army, and to try to uh, you know s close up this gap, and also to try and um, sever the uh, the railway links here, and isolating the Austrian Third Army um, that are near Lemberg, and from Shemish, and basically, essentially, all they would have is this tiny little single track rail line uh, for reinforcements. Um, so that was the plan, and it still is kind of the plan. And what it, what, what has happened so far is that uh, uh, he, uh, Plebes extended the Fifth Army's line out a little bit. Uh, they weren't here. They are, they are now here. And then rather than mount, I was uh, thinking of mounting uh, uh, two attacks here. Uh, potentially, I was thinking even of uh, uh, hitting... Um, hitting this one advancing and then isolating that one by like now let's just um just be nice and uh, play it safe um i'll pop in the graphics so i can explain so you can see what the heck was going on um so there were yeah so we had the russian 17th the 21st the 46th and the 52nd infantry divisions and uh, with the 30 301st and 303rd infantry regiments supporting and they were going up against the 3rd and the 13th Infantry Divisions, like I said, that were right there. Um, it didn't go according to plan, and you'll find out in a little bit, this is what we were uh, they were going up against. So it was a total attacking strength points of 16, and the total defending strength points, as you can see, were 4. Uh, and they were defending across woods, which uh, gives a minus 2 to the attacker die roll and plus 1 to the die roll. With them having four uh, defending uh, strength points, um, the Russians would have needed to inflict two, uh, two hits to force a retreat. Since there's no Germans there, um, just Austro-Hungarians, they'll, Hungarians, they'll need one-third um, uh, the amount of uh, hits uh, to inflict to cause a, to force a retreat. Um, since there's four strength points, uh, they uh, well, that's why I to, I've told you guys before. Um, the magic number is four if you want to worry about that, that type of stuff. Yeah, you got to look at these numbers. So anyways, three sucks unless you're a German, basically. So that's it. And then, the, and then I'll show you the next little tiny bit. Uh, so the Russian 5th Army HQ under Plebe uh, spends uh, four supply points to fully supply the attack. Sorry. Uh, one supply point can fully supply for attacking strength points. And yet again, um, yeah, I'm, I'm liking the way this is going. Uh, like I said, I'm learning. I, I think I'm going to use this, for, I think, for something like Caporetto. This, I think, would be great because it uh, it requires, you know, some work besides me just hitting the record button and blabbing away, um, which is 99.9% .9 of my videos that I do. But like I said before, uh, for certain things, I want to do a better job Um you know, a bit more, especially if it's like the official Dervelt Krieg stuff. This is imaginative play, so if you don't like a tough bananas. Sorry, but I'm, I'm getting it a bit defiant again. Anyway, so uh, also this is how I'm gonna, I still have to figure out, uh, I want to get away from the clunky biz bit. And yet again, like I said, this could be a, a 1080p camera if I clicked on the camcorder. So we could get even, and I could zoom in ridiculous, but I don't think I need, this is, this is amazing as far as I'm concerned. I have to learn how to, oops, I'm going to get rid of this hide button. I don't want to see that anymore. Um, 
I do have to figure out how to get rid of, I'm going to maybe put in um, uh, some kind of intermission screen because at the moment what I need, uh, because it, uh, the camera app, I'm only got one open. I'll, I'll figure out something eventually. Um, it has to cycle to the next camera, which is the overhead shot of the dice tower. I'd love to have this and the dice tower together, but um, I haven't figured that out yet. It will happen. So anyways, for now, I do Mr. Clunky and go to here, and then I go to my camera app and hit the cycle button to go to the next camera. Then I can go back to the uh, thing and show the halvesies. So there we go. I'm, I'm like saying, okay, now we're about to. But like I said, it would have been great to have the other uh, camera as this bit. I'll figure it out eventually. And then now we'll go to this, and then I can... Roll the die. I'll tell you what happened. Uh, basically, uh, I did try the double. Uh, the Russians did go all out, the way I call it. Uh, so they did try the doubler and the sock. The doubler worked. They just wanted to get rid of the uh, the minus two, and go straight up. Um, and up, like I said, I'll post the video if you're that uh, you know if you're that much of a masochist. Um, anyways. Um, they failed on the second attempt. So they, they passed on the first one with the doubler. They got an eight. So remember, if they would have failed if they get a two. Then they went for the sock and they pulled the red cube. And so that meant they failed and, and get stuck with the minus two to the die roll. And uh, it passes on to the uh, defender. So the defender naturally would have had a plus one uh, to their die roll for the being in, uh, defending across woods. And now they were getting plus three. Uh, what ended up happening was, um, well, let's see if, if it rolls the same roll. No, it was a one that the, um, but I wanted you to see what it's going to look like. I think uh, things are looking good. And see a little background of uh, that from that AI thing. Uh, so that's copyright free picture. It's so, what the hell is going on? I all I just said was World War One artillery or whatever. And it gave me this some screwed up thing that looks like a you know a, from scythe cover or something. Um, then the so that it uh, they inflicted one hit on the uh, on the Austro-Hungarians. The Austro-Hungarians didn't have to uh, were not forced to retreat. They stayed there. They uh, counterattacked unsupplied. It ended up becoming six. That uh, was six counterattacking strength points with a plus three. They did roll a five actually, and uh, it so it ended up an eight. And the Russians um, um, suffered two hits. And that's how that's what's left. So I'll go back to this main screen thing here again. I'm going to cycle through the uh, pop the camera back to the the other guy. It'll take a second because sometimes it goes, hey, what, what's going on here? You've got lots of cameras up open. I'm like, I know, I know. So we'll go have these again. So, yeah, so there you go. Um, and I'll yabber on. I'll talk a little bit more about what's going on. So that was, uh, yeah, because we're still going to talk a bit about the close up here. That's cool. And then I can go back. Um, yeah, I'm just going to wander on this side because I need to really look at it from the Russian perspective. So yet again, this didn't work out uh, for the Russians on here, but at least they did extend, um, you know, out a bit. Uh, the long run is, I mean, there's going to be no attacking going on. I mean, you know, pushing forward. I think it was more just to kind of like solidify this little area and whatever. But it. You know, this river, they got a good fallback spot, but things are just not looking. I mean, this is just a disaster beyond belief. It's almost like um, things have been accelerated a little bit, but uh, if you look at it from the historical approach. So now I have to figure out uh, what I'm going to do here with the Ninth Army, um, linking up way the heck over here with the Second. I haven't made the moves for the Second Army yet, and um, I got to do the Ninth Army, and I also got to do the Fourth Army way the hell over here, which you can see. Well, over there. Let's see. I can rotate the. Hold on. Yeah, it went funky green. I think it's because I'm in the way. Isn't it? I think so. Yep. That's what happened. So I'll try to go on the other side. Um, that camera thing. And I'll also try to adjust. Uh, see if I can try the. How's that? So, yeah, we'll try some different stuff. So, where am I here? 
okay yeah you can kind of see um yeah so the four so like i said the fourth army is going to oh yeah that's right i partitioned that to figure out so the, actually the fourth army is going to be shifting way the heck over here it's the ninth army that has to start shouldering more of the uh the weight over here i think they're actually going to wrap all the way i can't remember exactly where they meet up i think this is as perhaps as far as the fourth army goes is that little juncture right here i'll have to take a look later um but they have to they're going to be uh defending this spot and then the second army is going to come around here but uh yeah that's it it's just basically <sighs> whatever um and i'll go back to the i'll just show a couple of extra little so that was the side that bit i can do that one and then we've got the full on and then we've got the picture on picture then the picture on the side neato and then we've got my full on and like I said, if I can finally figure out what to, um, yeah, like I said, it's, it's, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Uh, it, I like the direction. All right. That's that. I certainly hope because I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> oh, I just hope it's better than the other one because that was god awful.